There, it's Mrs. Flynn. And Mr. Rops. And we're here today to talk about volumes of solids. Hooray! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, if we have a cube, to find the volume, we have a formula. Right. Ooh, I better go over right. here. And the formula, well, for this one is just length times width times height, which is, they're all the same, so S, 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 S mm. cubed. Is that what you do? I usually always write area base times height. Ah, oh, right. Let's talk about that base times height. Here's just a general formula for any three-dimensional shape, right? Mm -hmm. Area base times height. Nice. And then, then we can, from there we can say area of the base. We all know base is S squared. S squared and times the height, which is S. And we get S to the third. Sweet. And that one, if we do the same kind of thing, area of that base is length times width. That's the area of the base. And we take that square, we multiply that square by the height, which is h, and we get our volume. All right. Then we're over here to the cylinder. And again, area of the base. You think how we take the area of that? Right. And that's just a circle. And that's pi r squared. So the base is a circle times the height. All right, and this one here, volume of the area of the base is known to be A. So we are assuming that the area of that base is big A. So this whole thing right here is large A. Okay. Times. And height. H. H. They all kind of look the same. Area of the base times the height. Area of the base times the height. Okay, let's right. go to our next figures. All right. And so now, triangular base prism. Hmm. Well, with our pyramid, sorry, trying yeah. to base pyramid. Well, with pyramids, any kind of pyramid, it's always, as opposed to the area of the base times the height, it's always one third the area of the base times the height. All right, so. Do you want to go any further with that? No, I think we'll just leave it at that okay. because we might be given different information for how to find that area, that base triangle. All right, so what about a rectangular base pyramid? Okay. Well, that's still going to be one-third area of the base, but the area of this base specifically is a length times width. And multiply it by? The eight. height. Now, is the height the same as the slant height? Oh, no, those are absolutely different. How do you tell? Uh, that one looks like it's perpendicular to the base. Yeah, we always want to look for perpendicular lines. That right. tells you which one is base and which one is height. Okay. And then of a, of a cone, again, one-third base area times the height. Well, the base area... So again, pi r squared mm -hmm. times the height. height. Remember, that's the perpendicular line here, right. so it's coming from here. All right. So what relationship exists between the radius, the height, and that s slant height? Ooh, I know, it's a right triangle. Ah, oh, right. Fancy. Now, right. That's when we can use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Right, and so in lots of these pyramids, are, there's lots of Pythagorean theorem that comes out. So sometimes you'll be given your slant height, and you might have to solve for the height. Right. Okay, and then finally our sphere. Well, that's one you just have to know is 4 thirds pi r cubed. There we go. All right. Uh, I think that's go to the next one. Let's see what we have next. I don't think we've already talked about that. Let's go to the next one. Or do you want to talk about the general prism? Let's talk about the general prism there. So, okay. again, how we have base area times the height. Well, if we find that volume, that base area is going to be that cross that we're looking at, not the part that it's sitting on. So that cross part, that's going to be the base. Usually bases have parallel shapes, so if we think about it on the back, it's a parallel identical uh -huh. shape. Good call on that. So it would be that that area times the height, whatever it would be. Yeah. Okay. And this being the height, I guess. Yeah. Yep, there's the height. All right, let's try an example. All right, uh -huh. find the volume. Always easy to break these up into two different shapes. Let's first talk about the cone. Mm. We know that the formula for a cone is... One third. Okay, one third. <laughs> <laughs> pi r squared, a base area, pi r squared, times the height. 
So let's see, we can try to start off by substituting what we know. 1 third pi, we know our radius is 3. Now here's what we were talking about, the height. We don't know that. Our mm -hmm. height is perpendicular to our base here. Right. So let's go over here and use our Pythagorean theorem. Mm -hmm. This is 3, 8.4, and x. So 3 squared plus x squared equals 8.4. I love Pythagorean theorem. So we know x squared equals, let's see. Oh, try, yep, yeah, there we go, wait. Oh, you can just drag that out of the way. 0.4 squared. So we have 70.56 minus 9. All right. So x squared is 61.56. Now, if we were to take the square root of it, we would end up with a plus or minus. But it's a height, so we only need the positive value. All right, so it's always going to be the positive value. So 61.56. X is approximately equal to 7.84. Let's keep more than three significant figures so that our final answer is going to be accurate to three significant figures. How about you, zero, two? Sure. Yeah. All right. All right, so back over here. 7.84602. All right, and now we can... We can just type this in. Mm -hmm. We can multiply this by... Nine, Nine, right? Times, I'm going backwards here, pi. Times one third. I like how you put that in parentheses because the calculator doesn't always know what it's talking about. Yeah, I'd be smart in the calculator. Exactly. So the volume is 73.9. And this is centimeters cubed. Okay, now we have to go over here and do the cylinder. So I'm going to erase some of my work so we have just a little more room. All right. Okay, so cylinder. Volume is? Pi r squared h. Pi r squared h. I always state your formula first, then you do substitution. Instead of r, we put in 3, three. squared height. 5.1. 5.1. This is easy. We can just type it into our calculator. So we have pi times Is 9 times 5.1. And we get about 144. 144? Are we going to round three significant figures Let's, now? Actually, when we, when we did the 73.9, we should, probably should have kept an extra decimal place there. So when we put the two together, we had to keep that to three significant figures. And we can see the value right here. So right. we'll just go ahead and add this value All right. to 73.9. Or six. Or seven. Sure, seven. seven. Okay. And, and so. we get the total volume. Thanks. 218 centimeters cubed. We should probably make sure that this is approximately. All right. Okay. Great. I think we'll stop, stop there now. and do one more example on a second podcast.